I'm issuing an alert. It's April Fool's Day coming up. And I haven't prepared my usual April Fool's video. But then I realized I didn't really have to. All I have to do is draw on what some fools have been saying in the recent past. Let's start from here. Our president said he could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and he wouldn't lose any votes. Perhaps that's because nobody in New York would vote for him. He seems to dream of incest. If Ivanka were my daughter, perhaps I'd be eight dating her. I suspect the question is, would she be dating you? There's no racism here, surely. Black guys counting my money? I hate it. The only kind of people I want to be counting my money are little short guys that wear yarmulkes all, every day. I assume that he was uh, talking about uh, nifflers being the black guys counting the money. Um, uh, so there's no racism involved in that uh, comment at all. He ha says he has the greatest respect for women, but he said An Ariana Huffington is unattractive both inside and out. I fully understand why her former husband left her for a man. He made a good decision. Well, let's see which of these two is closer to being a 10. Some people are scientifically clueless. It's freezing and snowing in New York. We need global warming. Donald is a technical term for what's happening to you. It's called winter. It's all put together well to trust people, but blind trust is a little bit different. When he said, all I know is what's on the internet, he assumed, uh, as Albert Einstein, Einstein pictured here once said, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Albert, of course, was the inventor of the light bulb, and he's only 21 years old at the moment. Of course, there's no racism here. He said, when Mexico sends its people, they're not sending the best, they're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. With us? Really? Is that what he said? They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. There's a slight problem with that particular point of view that in the areas that have the most uh, illegal immigrants, the crime rates are much lower. He's not very good at number crunching. He claimed he had a million to a million and a half people at his inauguration. And the rest of the area way back to the Washington Monument was packed. Really? Well, let's look at the, photo the two equivalent photographs. On the left is what it was like with President Trump. On the right is what it was like with Obama's first inauguration. I think there's quite a bit of difference, like about a factor of five. In fact, the official uh, estimates that only 250,000 people attended his inauguration. Of course, then, there's the birth certificate. An extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. Well, unfortunately, the state of Hawaii, who has his birth certificate, seems to think that it is not a fraud. Well, we always know that it's the woman to blame. He said, all of the women in The Apprentice flirted with me, consciously and unconsciously. That's to be expected. Well, his lust, her fault, right? I thought greed was a, a deadly sin, yet he said, the point is, you can never be too greedy. I think you can. We've only got three years, nine months, and three days left of this to suffer. So until then, happy April Fool's Day.